Hey everybody, Audiophile Barista here and welcome to the conclusion. Over here we have the Prima Luna Prologue 5. This is a power amp, this is a tube power amp. We have four KT88 tubes in there, a push-pull configuration, 12 AU7, two tubes and 12 AX7, two tubes. I recently got this and when I connected it in my system, it gave a strange noise. This was the noise that I was hearing. Now after that, because every time I get new pieces of equipment in the setup, I have some kind of trouble with noises coming through the system. But this one, it sounded familiar, but because I was a little bit fed up of all those things, I made a quick video asking you for help and you gave me a lot of help. So I made a second video. Make sure to watch that if you want to know what all the options when you have a noise like that, what all the options are that you can choose. And this is the conclusion. What did I find? Because the noise in the Prima Luna is now gone, completely gone. The noise that you just heard is not anymore. What I was doing was making bringing back the system to the bare minimum. So a preamp, this power amp and a source and I started playing music. Now one of the things that was most apparent and apparently that was the problem is that I had a very, very, very long interconnect in my system running from the preamplifier to the power amplifier. So when I made the minimalistic setup, I made sure to have the preamp and the power amp close to each other. I had another cable of the same. These are synergistic research and this is the Alpha Sterling version. And apparently this cable was the one that was making the noises. Now before you say, well how could you have missed that? I've been thinking about that and here is what I came up with. I've been playing with this cable for 10, maybe 12, maybe even longer years. And this is a very good cable. I like this cable. I like the way that it sounds and it always served me very well. So what happened? Well, here is what I thought. Before I started my YouTube channel, I was not in the habit of changing my equipment very often. If you look at the amount of amplifiers that I had in... I've been in this hobby for about 40 years, so let's say for 35 years. I maybe had four amplifiers and maybe had four loudspeaker changes. This thing would just be between my sources, my source and my amplifier. And I would not think about it, but now in the recent three years that I'm having this channel, this thing has been constantly being used, pulled in, put back, pulled out, pulled back, pulled out, put back. And I think that when installing this new amplifier, and of course I was thinking the problem, it came with the amplifier, so I was thinking it is the amplifier somehow that is creating these noises. But I think it was just the time for this cable to go bad and create all these problems. So what lesson is there to be learned? Well, never take anything for granted. And if you have a problem, if you cannot find out what is actually the problem, because there are so many variables, especially if you have a lot of equipment, a lot of cables, power cables, interconnects, loudspeaker cables, digital cables, it doesn't matter. It could be any of those. But what I did, go back to have your amplification and a source and then just start adding things. And for me, because I had the amplification and the source close together, 
I had to disconnect this one, put in a shorter one, and that solved the problem. So sometimes you are lucky. Could have been that I had been looking for something much, much longer. So that was it. Basically, asking you this question made me do all this research and find out what it was. So once again, everybody, thank you for all your solutions. I am making another video because there are still other problems that are in the system. So I am still busy with that video. That's going, going to be a long one, but I think it's going to be a nice one. But I wanted to tell you guys that this was is solved.